go tune in. Report live 845. Beacon's very own, the hip hop goddess, Amber Love is in the building. Let's go. Radio. You already know your girl Moochie. Amber Love, we in the building. Happy Tuesday. Let's go. You hear it. Tuesday to everybody. You already know it's your girl Moochie Strat, the 845 Radio. Shout out to the hottest online radio station in the Hudson Valley. Reporting live 845, straight 845 radio, building our own from the ground up. Tonight's show is sponsored by my guy, my team, my clothing line, Bell Black Label. Make sure you guys shop for the culture. Now, today's Tuesday, so what better way to start this week off with the Empress herself, Representing the 845 Beacon, New York. She is the hip hop diva, and we're gonna get to know all about her tonight. I'm getting all in her business. So before we even start, Amber Love, talk to the people. Tell them who you are and a little bit about yourself. What's good? My name is Amber Love. I'm from Beacon, New York. Um, I've been doing music for a couple years now, focusing on different genres RB, trap. Um, I also have my own business, I'm an entrepreneur. I have a clothing line, um, a weight loss guide, all of that good stuff. Just really about women's empowerment and about uplifting the youth. Shout out to you, Amber. First of all, you gave me a whole rundown, so now I know where to go with all of this. But we're going to start from the beginning because you said you're a music, you're an artist, and you do hip-hop. So how long have you been doing music? Um, I've been doing music, well, my own personal music, probably like a year, two years now. But I've been involved with music since young. I started out since preschool going to Catholic school mm -hmm, mm -hmm. choir was mandatory mm -hmm. I went in the Bronx so choir is mandatory in so, school? yeah oh wow yeah. in Catholic school? Mm -hmm. so you was in there yeah I started out singing singing, okay. singing is my heart too so you can sing? yeah so you don't, you're not just a rapper you you can sing? yeah oh, I'm gonna have to put you on the spot so be ready to bust a note ready. you ready? I love it. I love it. All right. So growing up, you, you did music. Um, when did you decide, like, okay, this is really what I want to do? Um, when I was really young, like, I first watching Beyonce, I went to a Destiny's Child concert, and she came over to me and put the mic in my face, and I was just like, really? Like, I couldn't move. Right. 
So from there, I was like, okay, like I really always wanted to affect people's lives in a positive way, and I see how people respond to music, how music helps people heal, mm-hmm, and I mm-hmm. knew that that's what I wanted to do. It was just like a matter of me really growing up having the confidence to take it seriously. Right, right. Yeah. Now, growing up, who did you besides Beyonce? Who are some of the other artists that you listened to that you kind of like idolized growing up musically? Um, Beyonce, Brandy. Um, Jagged Edge on repeat at all times. Really? <laughs> yes, surprisingly. Um, I love Biggie. I love Pac. Um, Drake is always on repeat. Of course, of course. Of course, of course. Um, but a lot of underground female rappers that are really underrated. Like, um, I listen to Malibu Mitch. I listen to, um, what is, what's her name? I'm sorry, Renny Rucci. These are all underground? Yeah, underground female artists. Now, let me ask you a question because... You, you 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 chose music and you want to do music and you're actually pursuing music. But we all know that women have the hardest time in music. So out of all the talents that you have, why did you dis- specifically decide to pick music and go with it? Music was always my passion. And that's what I got the most love from. And I noticed like when I was singing, I tried out for America's Got Talent. You did? Yeah. And I noticed when I was rehearsing... Mm-hmm. There was a different array. You know, if you, if you go to one of those auditions, there's so many array of people in the room. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and I noticed when I was singing with this other girl, older people started crying. Younger people started crying. So I was like, okay, if I can, if this is, if I can really touch people, like at first it was in my head. So right. Like, if I can really touch people, I can't stop. So how far did you get on America? How, how far did you get? I didn't get to the taping. I got to the, like probably the third audition room and that's when they said no. Now, when you were in there, because people think it's it's it, it's it's just like it's easy. When you were in there, how was the pressure on you to do? How was the pressure for you for yourself? Like, how much pressure did you put on yourself to do good in this in this atmosphere? I put a lot of pressure on myself, but when I got there, I'm most calm in like a creative space. Okay, okay. So being around a bunch of different artists that are playing keyboard and practicing, and everybody was so welcoming and so friendly. So it was okay. Yeah, it was great. It was, it was Shout out to you, Amber. So you came out last two years. You said, okay, I'm going to do my own music. Now, when you said that, what do you mean when you say do your own music? I write. I sing. I rap. Like, I've been ra- See, I've been writing forever. Like, high school, I have cousins that rap as well. Okay. So, high school, I would vent in my raps. And then you've been giving them to people? Yeah, I would give them to people. And they would be using them like it was hot. And I'm like, hold up. I think I kind of got something here. Right, right. I could do it myself. Yeah. So you wrote for anybody in the A45? In the A45. No. No, I wrote for a couple Jersey artists, but I can't name them. You can't name them. You can't you can't drop that you a ghost rider. We're not going we're gonna let we gonna let the album win off of Amber. Shout out to you. Um so you decided you would be writing, you're singing, but then you said, Okay, now in the last two years I'm really gonna take my music seriously. Um so what's the first single that you decided to drop for Amber's project? Um Honestly, I wanted to revamp the Diddy record because I released it a while ago and it was just meant to, I was just upset at somebody right. that I'm actually friends with them now, but I was upset at somebody and I was venting and it just kept getting picked up by different blogs right. and different things. And I was like, okay, maybe there's something special and not only exclusive. So I was like, it makes sense for me to put that out, especially now with this whole women's empowerment. A lot of women need to hear that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, Sometimes mm-hmm. you got to let these put these men in their place. They need to hear that. Now, listen, talk to us about that because, you know, we we have no problem as women talking about each other and downing each other for men. But how is important is it for you to be a woman and in your message to have women stick together and not say that against men, but to put men in their place? It's extremely important because, like, a lot of men have this mentality where you have to do, like, sexual favors or mm-hmm. you have to be a puppet or a mm-hmm. doll baby. And it's like, if we lift, if I lift you up and you lift me up, that's putting us both in a higher position and opening doors for younger women to keep going and move forward. That's right. So that's extremely important. Shout out to you, Amber. Now, Amber, I must, we got, we're going to start from here because I must congratulate you. I did a little homework and um, you said you had a weight loss guide. So what is the actual weight that you did lose? I lost, at this point, I want to say 190 pounds. 190 pounds. Now, the reason why that's so special, you didn't have surgery. No lap band, no sleeve, nothing. What was the regimen for you to lose that much weight? Um, I don't want to say too much because it's all in that guide on Prissy Sword I met. 
But to be honest, it was more about detoxing and probiotic health. That's what really helped me. And then changing the diet. Once you change the diet, that was... It was... Yeah, that was good. So incorporating a lot of lean meat, a, a lot of lean meats like grilled chicken, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. a lot of greens. I made it a point to every time that I sat down and ate, I would have a lean meat, a green, a healthy green. Not just lettuce because, you know, that doesn't really do much for your body. Right. But them too, and I cut out all juices. Now, let me ask you this question. Before, it, the amber before... And the 190 pound Amber later, did it affect your music career in any different light? Definitely. And what Definitely. was that? That what was the the change? Because when I was bigger, it went from okay, you're talented, but I don't see the image. To now, okay, um, you're attractive, but are you just some pretty girl that wants to make music? So, so it's like a win lose in both. Yeah, pretty much. Because you lost some to win some, and you win some to lose some. Shout out to you, Amber. Now, let me ask you this question: um, As you are continuing to your um, your weight guide, what what was the goal that you wanted to do? The goal was just to be happy and be comfortable in myself. Mm-hmm. I didn't really have a goal weight because I don't like to look at scales. Right. So I wanted to build muscle as well. Okay. So it was just to be happy. And at this point in your life right now, are you happy where you are? Still want to lose a little bit more, probably. Right? A little a bit little more, bit, but not that much. <laughs> but you're more confident than you were last time. Way more confident. And now, as far as your music career, um, has more doors open now? Way more doors have opened. A lot of doors have opened. But okay, so Amber, I guess let me ask you a question then, because now you have these younger, you know, other youth out here, maybe especially women. Um, is it detrimental to lose weight? To to um to be great in your career, because then you have a lot of women that say, okay, Amber, you you may have been a little you know a little bigger now you're small, but what about me? Why why do I have to lose weight? Why do I have to look a certain way? Um, and then you got people like Monique that was one point you know a representative for the BBW, and then she also went and lost weight. So I guess you know there's people out here that say, well, you say be comfortable in your own skin, but then you go out and you lose weight. So talk to us about that. I feel like that's a personal issue. If you're comfortable at the weight that you're at, by all means, do not lose weight. Especially now in this day and age, we have social media. Mm-hmm. You can get out here and make a platform for yourself. Right. You don't need anybody's approval. Like a lot of people don't realize this, but I'm an independent artist. I don't even have management. Everything I get, I get by myself. Okay. So making a platform for yourself and doing everything yourself, you don't need to lose weight. If you happy, be your own boss. Be your own boss. You don't have to get no breast implants. You don't have to do none of that. Shout out to you, Amber. So not only are you um, a, a weight loss guru, and not only are you um, a rapper and a singer, but you also an entrepreneur and you own your own business. So tell us, let's talk about your own business. What kind of business do you own? Um, PrissyStore.net is the play on um, my old Instagram name, Amber So Prissy, which I actually got because a male was telling me I'm too prissy to do rap music. I mean, I... <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you. When I seen you, I was like, she raps? I, I would have lo- looked at you as a singer, not a rapper. But, so I, I have to second that one. I, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm with that. No, that's completely understandable. I like the element of surprise, because I'm not, I'm, I'm different from a lot of people. Right. Like. But, um, to go back to your question, the store is basically, it's gonna have multiple things on there. It's gonna be fitness, mm-hmm. it's gonna be merch from my brand, and then it's gonna be merch from me as an artist. Mm-hmm. And then also, it's really going to focus on cosmetics in the coming year. Like, mm-hmm. I really want to get into eyelashes mm-hmm. and, like, lip gloss and that type of stuff. Because I've always been into that. And I can see that. <laughs> yeah. No hair? So I'm about to so. say, Amber, come on. You be having, you know you be having the front toes. But I'm, I'm with Amber on that. Her hair be laced all the time. Um, Amber, how old are you? May I ask? I'm 25. 25. No children. No children, you're an entrepreneur, you're an artist, um, a weight, you're just everything. When do you find time for you? You have to make time for yourself. Because like, I've been through a lot of stuff and I've seen like, a lot of people with mental health issues and a lot of like emotional issues. And I just know the value of making time for yourself to rest and recuperate. Because mm-hmm. I know I'm not me if I keep going and keep going. Right, right. right. You, you need to make the time for yourself. And there will never be time because there's always going to be stuff. Something to do. Mm-hmm. Now, um, okay, we got but Amber's here. She's an entrepreneur. She's a weight groomer and she's an artist. People may ask, how do you, which one do you really, because you know you have your hand in something, everything, and you really never complete anything. Which one out of the three is the real focus, if mm-hmm. any? Music is a real focus. That's, Music. That's my passion. That's why I take so long and take my time with things because mm-hmm. I just, I'm a perfectionist to heart. Like, I want to make sure everything I do is the best work and then I can move up from there. Right. 
yeah. Music. Music is my heart. Now take us on a, a creative um take us on a tour with Amber. Amber goes, Amber's in a studio. What's a creative studio session like with Amber? Are you in there alone? Are you with a lot of people? Um, do you write before you go? Talk to us. Like what is a studio like with Amber? Well, for me, my tranquility, besides being on stage, mm -hmm. is to really like zone out by myself okay. and really write by myself. Okay. So I usually always have like either a sample of my records done at my house or I write before and then just go and lay it down. But when I'm in the studio, it's not that many people. Like, I'm an introvert, surprisingly. Okay. Like, I, it's not that many people. But I'm not funny about it either. Like, if you walk in, you walk in. Right, right. And you still get the work done the same. Yeah. Now, I know everybody says, Amber, they have their own way and they have their own movement. But if Hot 97 was to call me right now and say, Moochie, I see Amber Love. I like her. And I would put, I want to put her up against a female in the industry. Who would you think that you'd be able to out sing, out rap, out talent right now? 2018. Um, I don't really like to compare because I think that everybody's so good at what they individually do for themselves. <clears throat> and nowadays, women in hip hop and women in R&B, everybody's so different. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it's like, I can't compare myself to anybody, to be honest. Like, like we just make totally different sounds. Like, Sound. I don't know anybody that has the same stuff or the same background that I do. That no you wants do. to do what I do. Now, what kind of artist is Amber? Is Amber a trap artist? Is she a hip hop artist, an R and B, or is she just an artist? Um, I would. I favor. I made. It, I made this term up called trap and beat because those are like my two things. Tra trap and beat. Yeah. Okay. But I would just say just an artist because I can really go from spin on a trap record to like taking it down a notch on like a low vibes record. I could go to singing and then my favorite is actually singing acoustic. Really? Yeah. You can sing acoustic? Mm -hmm. You are a child. Can you play an instrument? No, not yet, not yet. Are you? I'm trying to learn how to play piano, but I'm not that coordinated, so it won't <laughs> take you. Me, girl, good luck. That's gonna take forever, because I can't either. Shout out to you, Amber Love. Um, you've been around for a little bit though. Um, you, where is your stance right now on female hip hop as far as beef because it seems like the only time that females really get that respect that you know it has to be a beef within each other so now you guys got the new local females and underground females coming out and what would be your stance to them and or your advice to them as far as beef with one another in the in the, in the music game we have enough beef with the males out here y'all don't need to beef with each other that's a fact we're way more powerful together that's if y'all have an issue y'all better duke it out on the record and hug later Right, that's go in the studio, it. let it go, and that's it. For real. Like, or make a track together. I'm saying, y'all could go back on floor for the track on each other. That's still a be hot. Everybody would listen. I mean, they listen to Brandy and Monica, right? Saying, How about shut? They, they still hate each other. They still, that was real? That was real. Oh, I thought that, that was a video. Real. Shout out to Amber. She done educated me because I thought that was fake. Listen, Amber, I love you to death. I think that you're amazing. Um, she performed at, uh, shout out to Amber, she performed this Saturday at Makeup and Martini, and she definitely did her thing um, with her dances and all of that. She, um, she definitely showed out. Um, I haven't really, and this is the second performance, because she also performed, did her um, listening party at Escape as well. Um, what is your plans as far as your music goes for yourself um, for the rest of the year? For the rest of the year, I'm just locked in and writing and really like improving everything to the best point. Working with different artists, networking. Mm -hmm. Networking is really my focus right now. And Who you work with so far? I've worked with Young Dalla from, mm -hmm. from New Jersey, mm -hmm. who's actually worked with Dream Doll. And, oh, oh, yeah. Shout out to you, Young Dalla. He's actually my cousin. So. What about fam <laughs> family? Family! <Yeah. laughs> oh, shout out That's to family. Young Dalla. That's family. Everybody else, I don't really want to say too much yet because, like, you know, you know, people will be funny. How about this? Say, all right, let's. I can say that because it's out. <laughs> How about this? Let's say this. Who in the eight four five do you see working that you want to work with that you haven't had a chance to work with, but you see them? Oh, there's a lot. Um, you know what's funny? Um, Tony E. Mm -hmm. I actually went to high school with him. Mm -hmm. We had classes mm -hmm. together, and I see him in the studio all the time. But. He's number one on my list, of course, with Partisan. Okay, absolutely. You know, I, I used to do some of Partisan's videos. He's actually really cool. Like, Partisan Fontaine? Yeah. Shout out to him. Yeah. Partisan, um, uh, what's her name? C 
Ladies C's. She's dope. I've been trying to get her in the studio to make another track forever. Lady C's, like I would like to see you two do a collab too. I would love to do a collab with her. Like, I think that'd be dope. Honestly, I would love to do a whole cycle with eight for five women. Like, like, for real. Somebody needs to reach out to Dolly Star too. Cause that's another one. Yeah. It's a couple of y'all that's out here. You know what? Ma, put that down because I might have to do a female cipher because it's a couple of y'all females out here that can really spit it. You got 16 too for me today? You got 16 and a song? Oh my yeah, goodness, Amber, you doing big things today. I'm you <laughs> you got rapid and a song? All right, Dolly Star, shout out to Lady Steve. Okay, I like the lineup you said, Partisan, Tony E, definitely, I can see you. Um, Anybody else? Um, oh, what is this? I really bad with names. Oh, that, I'm, I'm bugging. Sage English is another one. Mm -hmm. um, I just can't remember this boy's name. He sings, um, he sings like kind of like Sam Smith type of music. And I just, uh, I wish he's I from the 845? Yeah, he is. He is. I wish I could remember his name. Um, also, Jay Andre is extremely talented. Like, oh my goodness. I know I could, with that voice, we could you, do a whole project. You, you, you heard him at a lot? Yeah. Girl. Listen, me, I'm friends with his manager, Eric. I've been friends with him for a long time, a long time. So, I've heard records from Andre. That I've given my opinion on some records, and he's a beast. <coughs> that kid is talented. He's a beast. Oh, my God. Let me ask you a question, Amber. You've been in the industry, in around the music industry for a while. Why are you ma managed? Why are you choosing to stay independent versus having a manager? Because a lot of people approach me with games, and then a lot of people approach me with things that I can do myself. If you can't add to the table, what do I need you for? Right, right. Yeah. I mean, I did get approached by a few people that I would love to, I would love for them to to reach their hand out, but I'm not going to beg. I'm not going to push. You know? Right, right, right. If you want it, I'm here. If you don't. Yeah, pretty much. Like, I'm, you know, I only have a couple records out right now, so I'm just grinding. Like. Amber, you're beautiful. You have a body. When, when you see other male artists and they approach you to work with you, what is one of the hardest things that you have to get through as a female in this game, working with these men in the, in the game? Um, a lot of them have hidden agendas to where they just want. Right. Yeah. Right. So it's really like figuring that out and deading it on the spot. And then a lot of people think like, because I, I guess I am attractive, that like, that I'm an airhead. Right, right, and right. And I can't pick up on certain things. And then they get surprised and they get offended, but you already offended me. I'm going like, right, right, right. Yeah, so. You get that a lot? Oh, more than anything. Wow. <laughs> more than anything. People try it. They try it. Especially since, like, you know, I'm, I'm kind of nice. I'm bubbly. So right, right, right. They really think I'm here. Right, 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 right. And you play on the intelligence the whole conversation, the whole yeah. time. Shout out to you. Because a lot of women, um, and what would you be your advice to women that are actually going through that? And that, because, you know, a lot of women... If we can be honest, Amber, a lot of women have been discouraged from doing things in their career because of that, that treatment that they get from the male. So what would be your advice to women out here that are striving to be great, but they don't get looked at or taken seriously because they're pretty or because people think that, you know, so what would be your advice to women about that? I would say first, first and foremost, you can't let anybody dictate to you how your life is going to go. Mm -hmm. Never, never. Because years from now, they're still going to be laughing at you like, haha, you didn't do it. Right, right. It's always going to be a thing. Right. So you got to chase what you want in, at all times. But also, I really feel like... How should I word this? Word it any way you want to. We real on the 845. <laughs> um, let's just put it like this. The platform, the social media... Mm -hmm. I, I keep telling people, you do not need anyone's approval. Right. As a woman... We kind of have this, as a woman, I, I don't know if all women have this, but some of us kind of have this thing where we kind of search for approval in different areas. All women do that, yes. You don't need any motherfucking approval. That's right. I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't mean she to felt that, Ma. She just felt that. <laughs> <laughs> she <sorry>. felt that. <laughs> but for real. Right, for real. right. You don't need approval from anybody. If you want something, find your niche, find what you're good at, find what you love, but also that people respond to. Keep going. Keep your foot on their necks until something happens. I, I like that advice. 
I like that advice. Shout out to you. Listen, we got Amber Love in the building. This is the hip hop diva. She gonna do something special for us at the end of the show. So if you tuned in, and when you tune in, you gotta watch till the end because I gotta, I'm gonna have to do something for us. But Amber Love, are you? Uh, so the people want to know. I gotta. This is when we get moochie stuff. So are you? Do you have a man? Uh huh. Yes, at the moment. I you in a relationship? Yes, I am. And how long have you been in a relationship? Since Thanksgiving. Ooh, so we're coming up on a year. Mm -hmm. All right, so um, is Amber's um, honey bun, is he also in the music industry? No. Ooh, no, good no, question. No, no. So with that being said, mm. how do you deal with somebody that is not in the same career path as you? I prefer it, to be honest, because, you know, a lot of people in this industry have a big head, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and we can't be doing that. Right. You can't have a big head, and then I'm asking you questions, and you have... Shady opinions. I don't. I've been. I've dated people in the industry, and it was a really jealous mm. thing. Right. And they almost became toxic because, like, I would do something good, and you would make me feel like less than a woman. Right. Because I'm succeeding, and you're not. Right. That's not my thing. Like, I, I just rather have my own little niche on the side. But he doesn't get jealous with you being okay. Cause all right, cause we having a, and this is very good. Cause I I thought that I prefer to be with somebody that was in the same game as me. Um, but I found out that jealousy, he was jealous and he was doing the same thing I was doing, but he was jealous because I was making too many appearances or I had to do too many, I had to stay out all night or I was going out every weekend and stuff like that. So you being with someone that's not in the industry, you don't deal with that. What, where are you going? Why you got to do this? Why you got to go that? Why are you in the studio with this guy? I mean, on some level I kind of do because he's very overprotective of me and mm -hmm. he's, he's seen a lot of people try to take advantage. Right. And also, I'm a hustler. Like I'm, I put it like this: like I don't care if you got it, if you like me. I don't care about none of that. I care about getting the work done. Right. He don't really like that. He's like, why you gotta work with people that like you? That don't mean nothing to me. Right, if right. If I'm right. getting a check, if I'm getting work done, if I'm getting the exposure I want, that's all that is. Like, that's right. Ain't nothing more. Now, does it ever get to the point where it actually stifles you or keeps you complacent in a certain place since you've been with him? No. No. That's dope. I have my eyes on what I want. And ain't nobody gonna take that from me. You with it or you lost? Like That's it and that's all. Yeah. Now, is I'm telling you, men come and go. <laughs> Talk to me. Girl, who are you talking to? Right, right. Hello. Hello. Listen, I've been in too many messed up relationships to know. Like, Hello. <laughs> messed up. Yeah. Okay, with that being said, Amber, you just you know you're making this interview just glide. Because you being an artist, so we're going to get to your um, the single that we're going to talk about tonight. But we're just getting to know Amber. So um, for all you guys, get to know Amber. Um, I know some of you guys sent the um, emails in. I remember the questions off the top of my head, so don't worry. We're going to get to them. But Amber, um, you being in a relationship, do you guys are, talk about marriage and kids? Um, he's brought, honestly, he brought up marriage the first day he met me. So, <laughs> but... At the same time, every relationship I've been in, that's always been a conversation. Right. Because I'm not the type of person, like, if I, if I choose you, I want to be with you. Right, right. Like, I'm, my parents are married. They've been married for years, and that's what I want. Right, right. I want a lifelong partner. I don't believe in cheating. I don't believe in any of that. Right, so. right. So it's not enough money in the world to no. make you leave your man or do anything. You could be on a I'm road for years. Right, I'm right. I'm loyal. To a fault. <laughs> that's a fact. What's your sign? Pisces. Mm -hmm. Shout out to you, Pisces. I never had a Pisces. I never even dealt with a Pisces. Nah, the men are the men are evil. No, the men is no good. Women are good. The women are good. We we loyal and we love too much. Listen, I wish you guys were sitting while I'm sitting at because her eyelashes is on fleek right now. So I can't wait to get to her shop because her eyelashes are saying everything and I'm sitting here looking like a little bald faced boy. But it be like that sometimes. Shout out to the eight four five. We gonna get us some lashes through Amber Love. Shout out to her. Now Amber, let's get into the song that we about to get into tonight's call life. Yeah. Featuring Young Dollar. Yep. Now, before we get into the song, you're not working on any projects or anything like that. So right now, you're just doing song by song? Yeah, pretty much. Song by song, and then working on follow-up singles. Because I don't want to release like a, a big body of work right now. I feel like I could grow my audience more mm -hmm, mm -hmm. before I dabble in that. But yeah. Now, as you release this song, what is the, the, the um the promotion about the hiding song? You release a song, you put it out for a couple months, or like what is the standby behind each song or the time frame behind each song? I don't really have a time frame. Um, it's just a matter of how people respond to it mm -hmm. and then getting out and doing the dirty work, like going out to different clubs, talking to different vendors, 
sitting in front of these buildings waiting for some people to walk out. Like, right, right. I do everything from that to the social media to hosting. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's really about who you know in this game, and I just choose to expose myself in many different areas. Like, I started out modeling, and that helped me with photographers. Now I have photographers for my videos. Right, 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 so right. So everything can open the door if you choose to see the opportunity. Now, are you still modeling? Here and there. Not necessarily. Not necessarily. No. Are you still doing videos? Yeah. Uh, here, not often, but I'm still doing videos. So, last video that I did was Jaque and Graf from Love and Hip Hop, the on the line video. Really? Yeah. Why do you tell me? I, I usually know everything. How I miss this? And I be in your business. I be stalking you. And I didn't know this. Oh my, Muchi is so on Instagram, baby. Muchi is Facebook person. Yeah, that's a fact. You yeah. see, I'm trying to grow my Instagram now. Shout out to you. so Amber. You kind of loopy in the industry already. Semi. Yeah. You're in there already. Yeah. Um, so what's the hardest part you think you're going to have right now getting all the way in there? It's that first barrier, to okay. be honest. Um, my first goal is like breaking a certain amount of streams mm-hmm. and, and a certain amount of views because I don't have any visuals, though. None? None. Cause that, okay. All right. Yeah. So when do we plan on dropping our first visual? I'm going to say very soon. Very soon? It's shooting this Saturday. Really? Yes. Oh. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You want to tell us the location? Queens. Oh, you ain't playing? No, not at all. Shout out to you. Why you didn't choose the 845? I have a whole different concept for that. Uh, for the video? For a whole nother video for that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we, 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 we going to talk. Shout out to Amber. Listen, y'all see, I'm trying to get nosy. I'm trying to get the tea. That's what I do. But Amber, I, I love you. I love everything about you. Um, I'm a fan of yours. I'm, I think I'm a fan of yours because... Um, of who you are and how I feel like you're such a classy person. And I think you put the stamp on it when I watched you um, this Saturday, even your performance. You know, some people, especially females, I think females forget sometimes that they're female in what they do. So they try to even, pre- like you see female preachers, they try to be like male preachers, so they real like aggressive. You see female MCs try to be like the male, so they, they forget that, you know, that, that classy, that elegance. So you have all of that. So when I seen you on Saturday, you put a stamp into how I felt about you because I think that you're such a classy, femi- feminine female rapper. That's what I always, when I, when I see, that's what I think. Like, I know you're going to come with bars. I know you're going to come, you know, harder than most of these guys, but you're going to do it with class and with a little feminism to it. So I love that about you. And plus, um, you're, you're just so ladylike. Everything you do is just so ladylike. Oh, thank you. I, th- I, I love that about you. Um, we're going to get into the song, but Young Dollar, why did you pick Young Dollar for the feature on this song? Um, we were just talking about, we wanted to do a, jo- a joint project, but mm-hmm. his project, <clears throat> his project is really taking off, so we didn't have the time. Like, it was really a family vacation type of thing. We will, we all meet, like, once a month to talk about finances, and mm-hmm. he was just like, you know what, we here, let's do something. Like, you here for a couple days, I ain't doing nothing, I'm off work. So we sat down, and, um, Lucidy, Lofty, mm-hmm. he, he gave us the beat, um, and yeah, we just sat down, I came up with a hook, I had already, it was crazy, because I had been writing something all the way down, and it fitted perfectly. Just one, two, three. Yeah. Do you mesh, usually, when you pick people to be uh, in a feature with you on a song, does it just happen, do you guys happen just to mesh, like, automatically? Not a lot of the time, but I'm learning now that it's better to reach out as a friend first. Right. Because you get that comfortability. Right, right, right. Like, it was easy because that's my cousin. Like, mm-hmm. I grew up with him my whole life. So. Right. But, yeah, it's definitely about building a relationship with people. Shut up. Now, Amber, I, got, I must say, though, as much as I've been a fan, I really haven't really seen you out performance-wise throughout the Hudson Valley. Um, music wise doing your music thing until recently I started seeing you come out more um, so are we going to be able to see more of Amber um, performance wise out here in these streets yes definitely definitely. I'm about to say because I, li- I like and we're going to get the dancers too of course <laughs> first of all you know that's my brother because you know brothers. wait listen uh, sidebar that nobody, so nobody going to um, talk about me and Lee Ron's duet like nobody's going to I have the- I'm- I'm- that on my can, phone can I have that? I mean, I just thought nobody cared that me and Lee Ron did a whole number for Neo. I, we did that, didn't we? Y'all did that. I was so entertained. I got all the angles. I got it. I, got it. I need know that, I, Amber. I, I need I, I that. that right I need that. Shout out to um, her brother who is uh, a model himself, and he's definitely a dancer. And he's definitely, if I can say this, one of your biggest fans. Yeah. 
He's very we're, supportive of we're you. We're big fans of each other. Like, like we're both just in awe of each other's talent, and right. we inspire each other, and we support and uplift each other. Now, are you guys the only two? It's just you and him. Um, Sibling wise, do you have any other? Oh, no, I have a big sister. You have a big sister. Yeah. You, you oh, that's why I met her. Yeah. But you and Levon are seem to have like a little bit of a more closer relationship. No, it's it's equal. It's and equal? then they have a relationship too. It's all equal. Oh, he's a baby just, too. Yeah, we got different personalities. Like okay. my older sister's like the tomboy, mm -hmm. tough girl. She's from the Bronx, very like um and then Lorana is very like playful and mm -hmm. I'm just I'm the shy one that just like comes out of nowhere. Like Yeah, because we love you. <laughs> Shout out to Amber. We're gonna get into the song. Um it's just a sister song. Okay, so this song is called Life. It's with my cousin Young Dollar. He's from New Jersey, and he just dropped a, a song with Dream Doll and Goldie. And yeah, go check that out. Let's get it, guys. Tell me what you feel. Give us the feedback. I'm going to take my time. Got to get this right. This play right here might change my life. Wanna drive them cars, wanna live that life Wanna grind all day and sleep at night I'm tryna make it big Change up the way we live I'ma take my time, gotta get it right Stay right here, my chin, my chin I got you, Brad Bronson, I'll let her know Wanna drive them cars, wanna live that life Wanna grind all day and sleep at night I'm tryna make it big Change up the way we live I'ma take my time, gotta get it right Stay right here, my chin, my chin, my chin My enemies, I be the nigga they wanna be. Wonder how they remember me. They try to drain on my energy. People, my moves, and they mimic me. I let them fight over local thighs. Some fucking hoes they have never seen. I'm waking up out of Malibu. These are just cues they have never seen. Smoking a wood with your main thing. She let me hit it like let her be. If I get lost, she gon' leave me. Fuck all that bullshit she telling me. Hey, but they wanna see me win. I can't buy that shit they selling me. Tryna change shit, fuck the same shit, tie the lanes with shit. Yeah. I got cuz with me, I got bloods with me, do this for 50 years. Yeah. Loyalty, keep the fam tight. Yeah. Think I'm ready for the glam life. Yeah. Think I'm ready for that lamb life. Yeah. Tryna change my I'ma damn change my time, gotta get this right. This play right here, my change my I time. see you, baby. I got ya. Wanna drive them cars, wanna live that life. Wanna grind all day, sleep at night. I'm tryna make That, uh, I got that uh, 
Meek Mill, Nikki off that feel like that. Oh, really? All eyes on me, like that smooth. All right, listen. I appreciate that. Listen, you got some people trying to talk. Shout out to Wavy Wild Boy. He said he's peep you, you fire. He see you making moves. Brett Bronson, shout out to Wonder 845, all the way from Rockland County. He said, Amber, whenever you ready, let's work. All right, hold on, Naya. All right, Naya, we play Diddy. We gonna play it again, Naya. Don't be attacking me. Shout out to Naya. Shout out to everybody tuned in. Um, Buddha, Buddha Blast, Buddha, Buddha the Great from Poughkeepsie. He see you. He want to work. He want to work. So you got a couple people in here. I can't see y'all comments that far back. You got a couple people here that so make sure when you get a minute and you go back to Facebook, you reach out to these artists because they see you and they want to work. I'm always down for networking. And I'm, I, I want to must, I'm, I, I must say, um, you know, thank you, Amber, because I've been doing this show for like three years. In the three years, I think I've had five female artists come on this show. Really? Out of the five female artists that came on this show. I think it was more. Mm-mm. 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 Five, five, four, five, six. Lady Miz, I can actually name them. Lady Miz, Amber Love, Jillian Hobbs, Gabby Joy. Ooh, I think that's it. And out of all the ones that came, I think three of you guys are like really consistent with this music game. And this is the reason why I did the radio station, for my queens, not even for the guys, for the women, because you guys are so talented. Um, why do you think it's so scarce, women in music right now? Um, I think we, to be honest, it's just a matter of changing history right now because, especially in hip hop, you see that a lot of people think that you have to take somebody off of their crown, mm -hmm. off of the throne. I mean, mm -hmm. I don't want to do that. I want us all to have a seat at the table. Right, right, right. And I just think it's a matter of that and opportunity, really, an opportunity that's out there, and a lot of people are fighting each other for it, and mm -hmm. it should just be more opportunity for female artists. That's a, that's, I agree too. Yeah. I agree. Shout out to Jay. Thankfully, Cardi opened up a little, a lot more doors. I think so. I think she so. She definitely did. I think so. Because I, the same clubs that I'm, I'm going to and performing at now, I went there last year and they wasn't trying to hear it. They weren't even trying to take a meeting. Now I go in and some of them are just like, oh, okay. <laughs> no problem. No problem. All because of her. So she shot, definitely shout out to Cardi B because she opened doors for the underground. Now, for the underground artists that you know um, that you made mention, why do you think it's so hard for them to get? That. that push. Mm -hmm. Um. And then knowing that, what are you gonna do different for yourself to help you get that? A lot of artists don't realize it's not just about your craft. It's a lot about politics. It's a lot about your business mindset. And I was thankful. Well, I was fortunate enough that my mom shipped me to. Well, she didn't ship me, but she sent me to to um, Berkeley College. And I have my business degree. Okay, so okay. So I, I had to have a business mind first. Right, right, right. Because, I mean, like, you can be the most talented person in the world, but if you don't got your business together, you Nobody don't care. you're not getting nowhere. Yeah. Now, Amber, the people want to know, and I need to know, are you a registered artist? Yes. You have your BMI, your ASCAP. Yeah, BMI. Um, now, you know, there's many artists out here that have been doing music longer than you mm -hmm. that don't even know what that is. So they're out here making music for free. Um, yeah. What would you encourage people about being business minded? Because everybody's like, oh, I encourage you to be being my business minded. But what does that really consist of? Because people really don't know. That consists of a lot of planning, mm -hmm. a lot of planning, a lot of scheduling. You cannot be scared. You have to practice what you want to say to people. You have to just go out and get it. And then like, yeah, that's what I would really say. You got to just go out and get it. You got to be prepared. You got to. Do your research. Research. Research is number one. Because like, mm -hmm. you can't go up in here thinking that you're going to go to label meetings and then get the best contract. That's right. That ain't going to work. That's right. That ain't going to work. And how would you know what the best contract is if you don't even know how to dissect exactly. the contract? Exactly. Shout out to you, Amber. Um, listen. Oh, and also, if you're not too good at contracts and you got some money in your pocket, go speak to a lawyer. Mm -hmm. Go speak to a lawyer. Do you have, now, as an artist, do you have an artist lawyer or someone that you can consult with? I have a lawyer. She doesn't specifically do music, so mm -hmm. I am looking for another one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But I do have somebody I can consult with, and I also um, I have a lot of friends that are in the industry that I can go and ask. Like, right. Like Swanko. Okay, okay. Who's, like, extremely talented writer, producer, manager. Like, 
he's been a family friend for years. Like, I knew him when I was in middle school. Right, right. So I can go to him with questions and, like, certain things that I see and that maybe he has a better opinion for me. Right, right, right. So it's really about that and also mentorship. Yes. And then you got to realize that music is, the music industry is a business. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Business is always first. That's right. Business is always first. Cut the check. Shout out to K, um, K Dizzy Dash. She said, love her. She's the bomb. I know. That's why I brought her on the show. I was, t- I was trying to get the best of the best this year. And it's a lot of a lot of you guys, you yourself, you said Tony E. He's another one I'm trying to get on here. Um, I've been wanting you guys up here so long. And the timing wasn't right. But I feel like the season's now because you guys are like blowing up. Like you're blowing up right now. You see your name, Amber. Amber is starting to be in a lot of people's mouths. You're starting to see you surface around the internet. We know everything is not good. We know there's good and bad. What is the worst thing, the one thing that you hate about being an artist? Um, If anything. Honestly, I just take everything with a grain of salt. I mean, besides the fact that I want to get into a male-dominated field, Mm -hmm. like the whole misogyny thing, that's what... Listen, inequality in itself pisses me out. Right. Like, homophobia is a is a trigger for me. Okay. My okay. brother is a, both of my brothers openly gay males. And when I talk about my other brother, I mean Omari Banks. Shout out to him, the, clo- the clothing designer. He's a clothing designer. He was also my other dancer. Yes, yes. And isn't he's he going to be too. in the show? Yes, and he's a model too. And he, and he also does drag. Really? Yes. So I'm very active in the LGBT community. Those, mm-hmm. those are my people. Those who welcome me first. Right, right. So, homophobia, misogyny, Racism, any any type of anything. separation. Yeah, I don't like that. You don't like that. I don't like that. That's my only my only thing. Other than that, it's like you can't stop what I'm doing. So, I guess my other question is, Amber, who is to you what you've seen so far in your career? Who is your biggest fan base? Is it the LGBT? Is it the youth? Is it women? Is it men? Who who to you? Who do you see your biggest fan base? So. Like, it's the LGBT community for sure, but surprisingly, more men listen to my records than women. Mm-hmm. Way more men. Like, my my analytics, it's like 65% males. Males, that's the And I, I, I figure it's gay males, but still. <laughs> I mean, a, a view is a view. Hello. Yeah. yeah. Um, all right. Now, let me ask you this question. Would you work with anybody um, that was making, that had an issue with, okay, because, for example, let's use somebody like, Kanye West. Right now, you know, Kanye West has this thing with Trump and he's in love with Trump. So people might not want to do music with him because of his stance. Would you not do music with a person because of their stance on homophobia? It really depends on the artist. Like, if you just have an opinion, then mm-hmm. I can I can really say, okay, we we come from different backgrounds. Right. Like, like everybody's raised differently. Right, right. We come from different backgrounds, but my issue is when you're too outward about it mm-hmm. and really disrespectful and use derogatory terms right. I will never put my name on that I don't blame you I don't I respect it I don't blame you um let me ask you this question then Amber do you ever get backlash because you're so um uh, supportive of the LGBT community as an artist all the time all the time but I don't care I'm not myself and I gotta be true to my heart and true to people that support me and yeah now what's the one thing Amber loves Loves, loves, loves about being an artist. I love making music. My honestly, my favorite is performing. Performing because that's when I'm the most tranquil and mm-hmm. the most in my element and mm-hmm. the most like in tune with myself. Mm-hmm. And I'm the type of person who's an overthinker. I always have a lot of things going on in my head. That's the one time where it's just quiet. Shout out to Naya because not Ni- who's Naya right to you? Oh Nia. Ni- oh sorry, excuse me. Who's Nia right? <laughs> That is one of my best friends. Because your best friend is on it. On it. Shout out to your She's best friend. She's also a dope, talented YouTuber and artist. She raps as well. Well, why did she? But her YouTube channel is um, Bomb Nia. Yeah, Bomb Nia. Search Bomb Nia. She makes amazing makeup tutorials. She's extremely talented. You're going to have to get her on the show next because she yes, is yes. super supportive to you right now. Yes. And you and you need people like that, especially the ones that's in your circle you call friends. And that's yeah, hard. Yeah, she, she's been with me since the beginning. Since I recorded the retreat now. I, before You know the retreat is a private recording. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So it's kind of like 
you got to kind of get approved to get in there. That's a fact. Like that. You just started recording there? No, I've been recording there for a year or two years. You've been quiet. Yeah. Zoo posts everything, and I've never seen you in his still. Oh, it's on my Instagram. He doesn't really post that much because we don't really have like a set project together. But okay, now he's now me and him are working together, and um, Rich Morris too. Yes, extreme. you got some dope people now. Yeah. I'm telling you, I think shout out to Amber Love. I'm just I'm in awe of you because um she says she loves you. She loves you too, boo. <laughs> um, um, I'm in awe of you because I I really I love this show, and the reason why I love this show because you never really get to know people until you sit down with them. I would have never really, I mean, I already thought you was great in your music aspect. I would have never known how um, mature and uplifting you were had we had this conversation. Because I never really heard you talk or speak or anything. Even when I see you out sometimes, you don't really seem like you, you seem like a woman of very little words. Yeah, yeah, definitely. But you, a powerhouse, but very little words. So I'm in awe of you, and I, I, to know that you have a stance on women and, and, and unity means a lot to me. Um, so I guess let me say this, in hip-hop right now, you have um, little kids that on yourself right what people's opinion of you is just their opinion and it don't matter it don't at all i want i want little girls to know that they can go for anything and they don't have to take the sexual route to do it mm -hmm. they don't have to be ratchet and be extra you right. can just be yourself regular granted i love the ratchetry i have no problem with other women that express themselves that way but that's just not me that's not you yeah I, oh, God, i'm just I, I don't even know where to go because i just want to i guess let me ask this question um I want to ask this. Was it ever a time, Amber, that you just said, forget music, I'm done, I can't do it, it's over? Definitely. There's been a couple times, a couple times in my life, especially like before I lost the weight. Mm -hmm. I was just so discouraged, like I lost the weight and then it made me feel a little better, but it was also like the planning and then all the doors being shut. And then one day I sat down and I was like, you know what, what? I used to do acting too. Like, so like, you have your hand a little bit in everything for real, yeah, for real. Yeah, like I went to John Robert Powers Acting School in Manhattan. Oh wow! Where they birth a lot of Disney Channel stars, mm -hmm, like mm -hmm. um, like the whole cast from Zach and Cody, mm -hmm, all mm -hmm, of that. You mm -hmm. know? But um, I was I had to really sit down and get real with myself, and I realized like I went to so many auditions and it didn't touch me. Right. I'm of this upset about music because I'm passionate about it. Right, right. So why would I stop that? Because at the end of the day, stopping is only going to hurt myself. Basically. There's no point. And you on your way. Yeah, that's so why you should. You can only get up from here. Because it was it was hard times. Like I lost both my jobs. Right. Couldn't. There was times where I couldn't pay for studio time. I couldn't pay for dinner. Like. Hold it. You have two jobs now. Now I'm currently unemployed. I'm focused on this. On your entrepreneurship. I'm about to say, because how did the, how the world are you doing? Two, three, four, five, six, you on your way. But then again, you have no children, so you can kind of move, go free yeah. to move how you want to move, yeah, which I is the blessing yeah. of your, yeah, all your friends have kids around you? All my guy friends have kids now, and it's like, it's crazy to me. It's like, oh my God, I like I feel like I was your mom, and now y'all just popping babies. Right, pal, you the auntie to all the babies. Yeah, I'm Do the you feel auntie, it? the god mom. That. You got a fever? No, 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 no. <laughs> like my best friend from um pre-K, um, we actually met in pre-K and we've been best friends ever since. Her name is Jenna. She has a boy and a girl, my god babies. They enough for me. They feel like they're my children. I do a lot for them. Like that's and then you send them home. Yeah, that's that's the best part. That's the best part. I wish Lord and God. I, like, wish... I should be the cool auntie and then kids tend to love me because they a lot of them think I'm a Disney character. <laughs> they they really think I'm a Disney princess. So no. you do you run with it? I do, like especially like when I have my black hair. Right, right. I've been called Moana by little kids so many times. Oh. Even when I was working at Woodbury, little girls used to come up to me and ask me like, "Are you Moana?" Did you take pictures with them? I did. Oh, I did. that's how you do it. <laughs> it really, it really became a thing. I think that's kind of why I lost my job. It really became a thing. This girl said that's why. <laughs> No, you lost your job because it's time for you to put away working for other people and start working right. for yourself. Right. You feel me? So things happen for a reason. I'm a true believer of that. And um, the way you're going right now, what I see and what I've been seeing, because I've been, like I said, I've been stalking you. I've been watching you for a minute. I've been watching your growth and your change and things like that. So I've been really excited for you um, and everything that you're doing. I'm, def I'm definitely a fan of your hair. Um, I Thank love you. your hair. You always got a good, good, good 
good, good, good hairstyle going on, and it's always late. Yeah. And you're just so creative with yourself. So I definitely, um, first and foremost, Amber, I appreciate you coming on my little show, reporting live April 5, sitting with me. I appreciate um, you for having me. This is like an honor because you know I, I I definitely support you. I support you because you're a queen. I support you because you're a woman. I support you because you are really true this and you're really doing this. Some people pick up and they drop, pick up and drop, but you really do this. I I thank you for that, um, and I thank you for being a role model to my daughter because I feel secure now knowing that I support you and that I can go when your album comes out and it's in Best Buy. I can actually go and buy it. I would put it in my car and tell my daughter listen to this and things like that. I gotta ask you this though. What is your stance on hip hop right now? Because they say real hot hip hop is dead, the sound is gone, and now trap music is taking over, mumble rap is taking over, um, that there's no more hip hop. What is your stance on that, being that you are a little bit of everything in one? Um, see, I have a very unpopular opinion with that. Um, I feel like trap is the black people's pop. So that's why it's like so catchy and okay, right. and you don't have to have something that's too I've crazy. never heard nobody say that. Yeah. Trap is the black people's pop. Yeah. I like that. So I feel like it has taken over in a sense because we never like hip hop was that genre for us, but it can't. I feel like a lot of a lot of a lot of my Caucasian friends can't relate to that, which is really weird because then I go to shows and half of it is filled with Caucasians, right? Yeah, but. Um, yeah, I mean, on top of that, yeah, mumble rap has definitely taken over, but it's just a matter of lanes and the people that are in them have to be the ones to guide it. Right. And a lot of people are diverting. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. A lot of people see somebody doing this and they want to do that too. Right, because it's catchy. It yeah. looks good. They won off that, so let me do it too. Yeah. Like one, right. Mm -hmm. Do you think hip-hop is dead? No, I don't think hip-hop can ever be dead. You think hip-hop is lost? I think it's saturated. Saturated, yeah. okay. Because there are a lot of a lot of crazy artists out there that are straight, true hip-hop that are still going. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's just, we haven't heard of them. We haven't heard. Mm -hmm. You know? And then most of them are, like you said, underground. That's yeah. the real conscious rappers. Shout out to you, Amber Love. Like I said, I appreciate this interview. I appreciate you letting me get in your business a little bit getting to know who you are i think you're a phenomenal person you have already you um, came on the show so now anytime you have a song a single a show let me know i'm supporting i'm promoting i'm pushing right along with you i support you this saturday she'll be um in queens new york getting ready to shoot her first visual so that's i'm excited about the visual so we're looking forward to that you want to give us a release date you don't want to tell me gonna nothing. Say, gonna... I'm going to have to just run down on things and just catch it and just uh, drop the tea. Because I can't get no tea out of Amber Love tonight. Wait, so I'm wait, going wait. to Queens on Saturday, y'all. And I'm going to just have to shoot. I'm going to be sitting around. She's going to be like, oh my God, when she really came. I'm going to be sitting around listening to her conversation. She's going to talk to her videographer. Okay, it's going to be ready September 1st. All right, let's drop it September 2nd. And now I'm just going to be like, Doo. drop it September 2nd, y'all. Stay tuned. <laughs> But before we get out of here, Amber, we would like you to grace us. So the question of the night is, how would you want to grace us? You want to give, you want to rap for us? Give us a couple bars. I know you got something in the storage, or you want to sing for us? Um, I could sing a little bit. All right, talk to us. Give us a little acapella. I know you had to leave so I could evolve. Took a second to breathe and get a hold of it all. Gotta move forward, take my time to be strong. But yeah, love was okay, I'm going through the droves. Cause I was selfish and I was careless. You showed your scars and I ignored my damage. But I know now what I did wrong. Still, that ain't enough to come home. Missing you. Somebody said, we love it. Oh, my God. Erica, you can sing. Woo-hoo. No, no. See, mine don't even sound right. You see, mine is all backed up. And, oh, my. Okay, Amber, can you give you want kind of bars for us either? Uh, I know you got something in the archive in the back of your head. Oh, let me think. Oh. I know, and it's hard because there's no cursing, so you're probably trying to think. I know. That, that's the hardest part. <laughs> I'm wondering. Oh, my God. You sound so. Your voice is angelic. Oh, thank you so 
I love that. My, my, you see my mom showing all her little pearly whites, false and all. Shout out to mom. She was smiling. I, you like that, Emma? That was nice. Thank you so much. You, you want to give me a rock? Because I'm, I'm with you. I know, because I be, I be having restrictions about no cursing. I be messing y'all up. Yeah, that's the only thing. Because you be ready to get gritty, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You know what? Next time. Next time. Next time. I'll fulfill a whole... A whole 16 yeah. for me, because right now we was in the angelic state. You want to stay right there, right? <laughs> Shout out to Ma. She really sing good. I didn't know you could sing like that. Thank you. Thank you. That just put me in a whole different light. So you are a singer and a rapper. So you're unstoppable. So matter of fact, not for nothing, you can make your song, your hook, your own verses, your intro, everything on your yeah, own yeah, with no help. Yeah, pretty much. I'm in awe. Amber, tell the people where they can find you. Just tell the people where they can find you. You can find me on Instagram at I am Amber Love. Um, you can catch my website, www.prissystore.net. And you can also find my records, Diddy and Life, on iTunes, Apple Music, all platforms. They're available now. That's a fact. Make sure you guys uh, show love to Amber Love. Follow her. I do have her music, so it definitely be in rotation on the 845. Um, I want you guys to get involved. You already know Report Live 845. We build our own. We support our own. Amber is officially our own, one of our own. So I need everybody get next to her. Let's work to her. Let's get some collabs, some features. Let's get some visual videographers get next to her. Um, Let's do it. Photographers get next to her. Producers send her some fire original beats. Oh, yes. Producers, producers. Please do. Let's get next to her. Let's get her in. Let's keep her working. So, because she is a representative of us. And I am glad and honored that you are a female representative of the 845. I, I, I love what you have to offer. And I feel like right now, if anybody makes it and you make it, you will be a good role model representation of the 845. So, I salute you in every way, Queen. Thank you for being a guest on Report Live 845. Before we get out of here, tell the people one more time all your plugs where they can find you on social media and any shout outs you want to give. Yeah, one more time, you can find me at I am Amber Love on Instagram. I am Amber Love, really simple. Um, you can find my website at www.prissystore.net, and you can find all my music on iTunes and everything. I want to make a shout out to my dancers, Laron Denzel Serrano, and Omari Banks, who's also my stylist, who's also been making my outfits for my videos. Really? Yes, he's he's so. Cool. I mean, he's talented anyway. Oh, and by the way, they're both my choreographers too. Well, right. I mean, right. You know what? Time out, cause Lee, cause you know what? I, all my life, I knew Lee Ron wanted to be a dancer. It seemed like he did the award show and he just lost it, and he yeah. just been doing everything. Me and him both have that where when we get on stage, it's just one, two, three. Yeah. So you guys just mesh. You yeah. he danced the hell and you performed the hell and just the, the hell. It's just a it's fire just show. A, it's such a great feeling to be able to do what you love with people that you. Love. I'm about to say, and then to have your brothers, one you know, really so both of them supportive you, but they're styling you, they're dancing for you, they're pushing you, they're encouraging you, they're right there with you. That and they're men, yeah. so that's the best thing about it. You have like your own little covering um because i'm sure they're protective of you too oh very, very yeah. they'll probably kill somebody yeah that's the best love though right. you deserve it though you deserve it and i'm excited about you amber i'm excited um again before we get out of here um what can we see besides the visual that we, you're going to be shooting this saturday what else can we expect from you any upcoming shows any up anything upcoming um right now the only thing locked in is the 25th i'll be hosting positive vibes with the struggle life. Yes. Yeah. You were performing too? No, nah, no. Nah, we haven't talked about that. We just talked about the host. Struggle show. life. <laughs> Holla at Moochie. Get next to me. I'm going to pop up. I need Amber Love to perform. Especially that song, Diddy. Because Diddy. <laughs> yeah. This is hitting right now. Yeah, it really is hitting. Like, I ain't going to lie. Because I was talking to him. As he was playing the song, I was calling a couple men in my head like. I don't even know who's broke, but you're not Diddy. That's all I wanted to say to the yep. people. Listen, you guys, this is Amber Love Tuesday. Make sure you guys come in, share the video. Um, it, it'll be available in a few, in an hour on YouTube as well as Instagram. Go follow her. Listen, get to know her. Follow her platform. Support her music. She's um, August 25th. She'll be at the retreat, hosting Positive Vibes Only, brought to you by Struggle Life. So make sure you're in the building for that. Look out for the new visual coming out. She'll be shooting in Queens. I'll try to get the guys. I'll do the best I can to get the information. This one looks like it's going to be a doozy. But I'll get the information when the visual will be dropping. But just show love to her. You already know it's your girl, Moochie. Miss 845, straight 845 radio, building our own from the ground up. Make sure you guys tune in, tune in tomorrow. I got blackout.
All the way from Poughkeepsie, New York, coming in the building. This week, I just got a whole lineup. Jazzy Parker will be here. We got a lot of people coming in this week, so make sure you guys tune in. Same time, same place, 845 Radio. I'll see you guys tomorrow.